Hello YouTube and welcome to tutorial number 54 in the Microsoft Visual Basic.net program tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover how to use regex, what it is and all stuff like that yeah so um, basically first of all before I go into the tutorial um, the reason I haven't made a video in the last um, two weeks is because I got like a really bad cold and like I didn't want to make a video when I started all stuffy and shit so you know just postponed it a bit. I could have done it last week but I just quite lazy to be honest but you know um videos are continuing from now so about that and here we go alright so back to the point regex if you don't know what regex is then regex stands for or is short for regular expression and a regu regular expression is it's used when you want to parse or strip down text to find bits of information that you want to use so um for example one example, let's say you have a list with people's details and it has like the name, address and phone number and you put that into a string and let's say you wanted to find the phone number of every person on that list you could create a regex to create a collection of phone numbers and then that would, like the regex would be the format of the phone number and another thing is let's say you want to search web pages for emails which is probably what you guys are probably want to do more you little marketing guys out there you could create a regex to search for emails in web pages and then you, I don't know save them to a text file whatever you want to do um, you know so basically you just it's a regular expression that you define and it can be like you can use wildcards and you can search through strings of text um, and then find matches to your regular expression. So today um, I'm going to use an example for regular expression um, for a game called RuneScape. Um, I know a lot of my a lot of my subscribers play the game um, because of the community that I get my subscribers from. So um, if you don't if you don't know what the game is, then don't worry. Um, it's it's just it's nothing to do with the game itself. It's just the source code of the website that we're going to be working with. So yeah, so what you need to do first of all is go to www.runescape.com and then you go up to here where it says um, game guide and click on the grand exchange. And you'll see here um, there's a list of items that have gone up in price and that have gone down in price. And <clears throat> because of the nature of this, um, these tables, I know that each of these um, links here to different items will be, have like a particular um, format in the source code that is unique and we can use that as a regular expression to take out every name that is in this list and this list okay so um, what, we're going to need go what we're going to need to do first is code a little web request that will take the source code of this page right here so um, you want to copy this and go to Visual Studio and create a new project and we'll call it RuneScape regex. All right, so um, the first thing we need to do is just add a button, which is going to initiate the request. We'll just say um, find items. Okay. Right, double click that, and all we need, all we need to do is create a HTTP web request to get the source code of that page. And we've gone through this before, so you should have watched. It was in like tutorial number 30, but you should already know this. But all we need to do is declare, we'll call it request as system.net.http web request. And that is going to be, whoops, equal to system.net.http web request.create. And then in brackets, whoops, and the quotations, paste the URL we just got. And whoops, what have I done wrong? Spot that wrong, sorry. And then after that, we need to declare the response. So declare response as system.net.http web response equals request.getResponse. And then we need to declare the stream reader to take the, we'll read the text and then put it to a string. So declare sr as system.io.streamreader equals new system dot io dot stream reader and in brackets response dot get response 
oops, response stream. Okay, now the final thing we need to do is take the text from stream reader and put sr dot. Oops, sorry, we need to get the um, string first that we're going to make it. So declare um, rs source code as string equals sr dot read to end. All right, so. We should know what this does already. This has got nothing to do with the tutorial, really. But basically, all we're doing here is we create a web request with the web page, which is the Grand Exchange um, homepage on RuneScape, and then we get the response, and then we take that source code to the web page and put it to this string, RS source code, so now we can work with this string. Okay, so now we move on to creating our regex, and as I said, regex or regular expression is a regular expression that you will find in text that you want to pass out. Now it's pretty like complicated to understand at first but I hope that you guys will understand that after this tutorial. If you're still lost right now just try and go through the example and see if you understand it. Alright so right click here and click view source and this will be different for every web browser but in Google Chrome it comes up as a new tab and here we have the source code of the web page so what you're going to need to do is find um, a regular expression or like a, a pattern of the thing that you want to pass out now this is what I want to pass out every item in the price rises table and the price drops table so I'm going to look at the first um, result which is ingredients and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go to source code and I'm going to type control and F which is to find and then put ingredients and you will see that right here the first thing we have is image name object and this is just the code for showing the image of the item that has rose in price and I can immediately see that this is this is going to be our regular expression because if you look down here it's exactly the same for the second item which is gum seed now the names are irrelevant it's just the source code that we can see is the same here and here with like one slight difference which is the name and also the um, the ID here but that doesn't really matter we can get down to that later so what we want to do is right click this highlight it and then copy it and then go into uh, with Visual Studio and then we can just paste that in a comment so we have it for later and we can start creating our regex okay so the way you create a regex is just declare and then whatever you want to call it I'm going to call it R R as new regex equal oh, oops new regex equals um no no not equals it's just I don't know why it's doing that um actually we'll just system dot text dot regular expressions dot regex and then in brackets you need to declare what your regex is your regular expression that you want to find and this is it right here so what we're going to do is paste this in the brackets right here and the first thing you'll notice is that you have few errors and that's because um, HTML obviously uses brackets and you're, when you use a bracket this thinks okay this is a string and that's where it stops and to use a quotation mark in inside a string which is something I should, probably should have covered earlier because I get a lot of PMs about it is all you do is just add another one and use double quotations to use one so we'll put one there we have one here one there one here one there and then there and this is the final one and now that is our normal string again so that space at the end and so now we have the normal string that this looks like this right now but just ignore all the double quotations and now we can start to pick out things that change in our string so if you look at it first image name equals object that's the same in every one but now when you see src equals whoops sorry about that undo src equals and then it has a link and you'll see that right here it has an individual code or id for each item so that's going to change each time so that's not a regular expression so what we do now is we add a wildcard or a symbol for a wildcard. Now what we do is first of all we type dot or full stop and what that represents is that in right here there's going to be th that acts as a wildcard and right here there's going to be anything that um, 
it, like anything can be here like it could be random text it could be any numbers whatever so if you have this with like 666 here and then that with that 77 here that will be picked up by the regex because this dot is saying anything can be between this forward slash and this quotation mark and the next thing you need to do is add a star and that signifies that it can happen at, like infinite amount of times more than once and now that we've done that we have here alt equals ingredients now this is going to change as well this alt name here so we delete that and then once again we put dot and then the star and now we've created our regex this is the regular expression that is going to occur in the source code and every time we see something like this we want to pick it out so now that we have a regex we can take the matches of the regex so next line declare we'll call it matches just click um, call it whatever you want as match collection equals r dot um matches and then in brackets we need to declare um I'm sorry define the string that we want to find the regex inside which is up here rs source code and what have I spelt it wrong there have I oh sorry I forgot to do the import system of text at regular expressions that probably would have um, fixed that as well but you know I'm quite tired it's like 10 a.m. I haven't slept yet but whatever so um, now that we've declared our matches right here what this is saying is okay now the matches is r dot matches and in brackets source code whoops and so what that does is it takes this regex here which is this right here this text and it looks for this text inside rs source code which we declared up here as the source code of the grand exchange homepage. 